Okay, so let's move on. Um, you've uh, connected your unit, you've got it powered up correctly, and you've uh, connected it either via a, a Cat5 crossover cable or you've got it connected to your uh, network. The next thing that you'll want to do is actually access the web interface of your Security Pro 5e. Uh, now the unit itself actually ships with a default IP address of 192.168.0.1 uh, in this case uh, the IP address of my unit is 10.1.5.206 um, now this will bring you to this page which is the login page as a default um, the password is set to public and you'll need to log in as administrator so we'll just type in my password there and hit enter. Okay and this brings you to the summary page of the uh, web interface. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit about the uh, summary page. Uh, on the left hand side here you have a panel of options, summary settings, layout settings, camera settings, sensor filters and syslog filters. Um, now depending on uh, which one of these areas you click on it will display various um, options in terms of how you would like to display your summary page. Um, so for example at the moment you can see that uh, I have a camera connected so I can click on camera 4 and it would display a camera. I can go into the camera settings and uh, you see all the different settings of the camera settings there. Sensor filters, uh, all my different options and finally syslog filters. And you can see that the uh, system log uh, is uh, just here and um, right above it you have the um, sensor information. One thing that I would just like to show you, which is a brand new feature of the web interface, is if you click and hold down on any of the blue bar, you can actually drag them around now within the web interface and you can customize the um, summary page exactly how you would like it and it can display the information that you want to show. So for the first time we've got a 100% completely customizable um, web interface and summary page. Now what I'd also uh, like to just very briefly show you is uh, just going to the uh, settings tab here once you go into the settings tab this is the page that you'll come to now we as you can see we're on the general uh, page at the moment and this will actually display our system description uh, the name of our system system location system contact uh, so you can actually uh, change these and enter your own personal details of what you'd like to call your system and your location um, you can also have the uh, sensor notification on uh, when system boot up uh, you can have the graph data display logo on or off and here's also where you can actually change the language uh, so you can change it from English, Chinese, Dutch, French, German or any of the others that you see on the list here um, once you've made any alterations you can go ahead and you can click save now um, also I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, system administrator uh, if you go into uh, the system administrator you'll see it has a little plus arrow by cl clicking that we get some options um, now let's first of all have a look at the change password okay now the uh, changing the password will actually be uh, covered in another tutorial but essentially this is the page uh, that it brings you to if you want to change your password as I said the password is actually uh, public as a default and you might want to change that just to increase your security uh, you also have system maintenance okay now this is the page again that you will come to uh, where if you want to check to see if there's any latest firmware you can check for the update uh, and upgrade and you also have here uh, options to restore factory settings and original settings uh, you can also choose whether to keep your present network settings or not and then finally we have these services and security which brings you to the services and security page uh, with a whole host of options here so uh, you know I'm, I'm very quickly just skipping over this just so it gives you a rough idea of how the web interface is laid out but um, once you've gone to the summary page, you've logged in, uh, you've uh, changed your password, and you've got a nice secure web interface, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. I'll see you there.